Now let's practice some questions on uh, canonical forms. Let us say these are the functions f1, f2 and f3 and all the functions are uh, you know functions of a, b and c which means input is going to be a, b and c. So now how can you write f1? So one thing is you can represent f1 as uh, sum of products. If you are going to represent the f1 as sum of products you have to take the uh, min terms. Min terms are nothing but the you know min terms you know all the terms should be present in that and now the min terms should be corresponding to the ones. So if you want to represent f1 you should pick this one, this one, this one, this one and this one right. So let me write them, give them numbers this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 right. So what are all the values of uh, f1 for which you know f1 is 1. So what are all the values of the function for which f1 is 1? 1 is 2 and the other is 3 and the other is 5, 6 and 7. So this is how you should write it in canonical collection of uh, you know this sorry in this uh, product of uh, sum of products form and other way to write it is product of sums form right. So the same function you could represent it like pi, pi of how can you write it? Whatever terms are not here, you put it them. You put them there. So what are the terms not there? 0, 1, then 2, 3 is there, 4 is not there, 5, 6, 7, right? That is how you could write. And the next one is F2. Practice F2 also. So what are the how can I write F2? F2 can be written as sigma, which means sum of you know uh, sum of products. What are the products that you have formed? Now it is 0. 2, 4, 6, right? And how can you write products? Product of sum is 1, 3, 5, 7, right? And what about F3? How can you write F3? F3 is sigma. What are the sum? 0, 1, 6, 7, and similarly pi. Whatever is missing there? 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So this is how you could represent every function. So given the table, given the truth table, you can convert them into functions like this, right? And other one is instead of giving you the function, this truth table, the function, they'll give you the expression. Now they'll give you some expression, which is either a product of sum or sum of product expression, which is not in canonical form. Not in canonical form means the terms which are forming the expression might not be min terms or max term. Then what you should do is convert them to a canonical forms. Let's see how to do that, okay? Now given this expression, not the function, how can you convert it into canonical form? Either this uh, product of sum or sum of products, whatever it is, you have to convert it. Okay, let's now you know, const you know, construct it into this sum of products. Now I want canonical sum of products, right? So which means I want the min terms. Now or all, it is a sum of products, but then it is not canonical sum of products. Why? Because every term should be a min term which means in every term all the variables should be present but if you look at it all the variables are not present here right so there are two ways to solve it one way is let the expression be like this and keep on modifying the expression until we get the canonical form that is one way other way is take this expression and convert it into table how i mean that table the function right so you write what are all the possibilities for x y z and then you try to evaluate it and write it there and wherever you have seen once you put a sigma and you get it two ways i mean what i'm trying to say is you could have even you could even construct a table like this and it contains x y z values and here you can write x prime y plus z prime plus x y z and now for every combination you find out the value let us say the values are 0 1 0 1 like this right then wherever you have 1 then you can put a sigma there and that is nothing but canonical sum of products and wherever there is 0 you can put a pi there and it is nothing but uh, product of sums that is one way other way is you can take this expression as it is and you can keep on expanding it until everything is included right i'll just tell you how to do it see now it is x prime y is there now if this term has to be a min term what is the variable that is missing z right so if you had if i had to add, add z then how can i add it is uh, the property is anything when multiplied i mean multiplication means here anding anything when added with one is nothing but same thing right so what i write is like this x prime y z is missing for that i am writing one plus z prime 
x and y are missing therefore I am writing 1 and 1 plus there is nothing missing in this so leave it as it is x y z now here 1 is z is missing therefore for this one I am going to put the z terms how can I write z in terms of 1 this way see this x prime y z plus z prime plus here x plus x prime y plus y prime into z prime plus x y z right now check this now what is it x prime y z y i'm combining these plus x prime y z prime plus okay one thing you must be getting doubt is uh, we are always trying to minimize the expression minimize the uh, function or the expression but here if you look at it i'm actually taking a smaller expression and i'm ex expanding it to a bigger one right why do you think that we are doing this see whenever we are trying to design a circuit right from scratch then we are going to take the expression and minimize it so that this circuit will be minimal right in the other other sense if already circuit is existing and if you are going to make use of the existing circuit then they will give you standard interface standard interface means the interface will contain the inputs will contain all the min terms if you are going to use the existing uh, you know circuits in order to form the new circuits then your input should contain all the min terms therefore if you are using the standard mod uh, standardly available uh, infrastructure to create the new functions then obviously we have to uh, you know have all the min terms if you are trying to design something from the scratch and if you want to minimize the circuit then we apply the minimization so this is actually a reverse method right see previously we had taken big terms and converted into small terms now we are taking small terms and converting into big one right so don't get confused both methods are useful and important okay and now let's look at this what are the terms here so here if i take this one this one and this one it is going to be x y z prime plus if i take this one this one and this one it is going to be x y prime z prime plus this x is over right now x prime x prime y z prime plus which means this one right x prime y z prime plus x prime y prime z prime x prime y prime z prime plus and the remaining is x y z x y z right so now there are most of if you look at it i think many of the terms will be repeating so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we have seven terms actually there are eight mean terms anyway we got seven mean terms let's see if any of them are uh, repeating uh, if you cannot see it this way let me write the binary representation of this i mean decimal representation of each, each of the mean term what is 0 1 1 3 what is 0 1 0 2 what is 1 1 0 Mm. Huh? <laughs> what is 1106 and what is 1004 what is 0102 what is uh, 000 it is 0 see x prime y prime z prime is 000 it is 7 right now let's see if anything is, is repeating yes 2 is repeating therefore you need you don't need it 2 times you can cross one of them right so what is the final answer you could have left it like this it is nothing but the canonical uh, you know uh, sum of products you could leave it like this or you can write it like this in a shortcut so what is it it is better you put in ascending order 0 is there 2 is there 3 is there 4 is there 6 is there 7 is there right it is nothing but the canonical uh, sum of products now what is the canonical product of sums if you have found it out it means that for all these values the function is 1 then what are the values for which function is 0 you could put pi right then what is remaining 0 1 is remaining 2 3 is there 4 is there 5 5 is remaining right 1 comma 5 right you please cross check if I did everything right or wrong I think it is right I will just verify it once hmm. yeah it is fine 